Hello guys, I'm Yash. So today I will show you how to perform Segway. Now Segway is changing of view controller on any event. Okay, it can be pressing of button, it can be of, it can be dragging of screen or anything. So I will show you how to do it on pressing of button. So let's get started. First of all, there are two ways of creating performing Segway. So I'll show you both of the ways. Here, single view application, name it Segway and hit next. Save it wherever you like. So under main dot storyboard, we will be dragging and dropping two more view controllers. Now, I was saying there are two ways of performing Segway. Like first method is really damn easy. So let's give some background color to this. Uh, view controllers so that we can identify this will be gray this will be yellow and this will be red okay let's add some buttons here and uh, let's give them with an height of uh, 150 and a height of 75 okay and uh, let's also increase the size so that we can see and it's clearly visible go to second and uh, copy this button copy and paste it here paste it here and this will say go to third this will say back okay uh, let's say text color will be black for here so that it's visible okay so like uh, first method is really simple just do click on the button and hit control and drag it onto the next view controller and say show and here is our view uh, here is our segue okay and uh, another method is a coded method so let's uh, first we need to create file for both of this view controllers so let's do that new file coco touch class and say second view controller hit next create and again do the same procedure again for the third view controller it will be third view controller hit next and save okay drag and drop so they are in order so for the second method uh, we need to first uh, select the second view controller uh, we can select the uh, view controller by clicking this yellow button so select the view controller hit control and drag it onto the third screen and say show okay now here is our segue but it is performed by the view controller and uh, we need to name this segue so select this segue go to attribute inspector and uh, give it a name of go to third okay this is very important and uh, do remember this name okay so let's hop over to second view uh, let's open our assistant editor and uh, connect our okay first we need to assign uh, the file to this one so say se uh, select second view controller go to identity inspector and give it the name second view controller and here it is and for the third one it will be third view controller so we are good to go so here is our second view controller okay so what we need to do here is let's get rid of this and select the button and hit control drag here okay and say go pressed and it will be action and it will be performed by UI button hit connect so let's hop over to our second view controller and uh, for the close assistant editor and for back button let's perform the same thing uh, easier method right now but doing this is wrong i'll tell you why so let's do this one for the second to third segue hop over to second view controller so under go pressed just type perform and you will see this function perform segue and this identifier is the name which we gave okay which is go to third 
and sender will be self okay so we are good to go guys hit run app is running so okay here it is let's say go to second go to third back go to second third back and uh, just notice this uh, coming this view controller is coming from bottom to up okay third back second third back now doing this multiple time has a reason okay now let's open our debug area and select this icon over here which is debug view hierarchy now here you will see that so many times the transition uh, is performed because of our uh, clicking con uh, performing segways continuously okay now doing this creates an overhead uh, if your app is really heavy so what we are doing wrong here is okay it stopped i think let me run again so the thing we are doing wrong is uh, go to second go to third is okay okay but going back this way is wrong so let's fix it open our main dot storyboard and this back is okay we need one more back hit copy and paste it here okay just below go to third okay so first of all uh, let's connect third to its uh, file we will be using this back button and uh, del delete this segue the back uh, segue which we created okay delete it so here is our third vc file get rid of this boilerplate code and uh, control drag this back button over here name it back pressed and it will be action performed by ui button and we will do the same thing for the second view controller we will connect back button say back pressed and it will be action performed by ui button hit connect okay first let's hop over to third view controller under standard editor just say self dot view dot okay uh, no just type dismiss and it will be animated true and the completion handler will be nil okay and uh, let's hop over to our second view controller and do the same thing over here which will be dismiss true and completion handler is nil so now let's run our app now this will be a good systematic way of doing it of going back and uh, and remember i told you that uh, notice the transition over here from top uh, from bottom to top when the view uh, when the segue is performed okay see bottom to top now when i press back it's from top to bottom so and uh, now when we check our debug area and open this view hierarchy there's only two so now this is a systematic way of performing a segue thank you guys keep watching